Davis. Her new film, Hannah Montana, the movie, opens today, and you will love it. You have to go see it. After the Tyra show, run to see this movie. It's great. Check out this clip. Next time, you might want to demand a jet with a bigger bathroom. Well, why in the heck are you getting all handed up? The Hannah steps off the plane photo op. You know, the balloons, the limos, the screaming fans. <sighs> like Vita says, it's all about the publicity. Yeah. That Vita's just full of good advice. Absolutely full of it. Hello, New York! Mm. Mm. Looks like your limo's here. Is this a good spot for me? That is a great spot for you. First of all, I think you're so cool. I mean, we were hanging out at Disneyland a couple of months ago for Miley's 16th birthday. So welcome to the Tyra Show. You've, you've been on the show, but not on the stage. So well, welcome. Thank you. What a great crowd you have yeah. here today. It's fun. So as a dad, you know, the, the day Miley was born and she was put into your arms, did you ever imagine that her life would be the life that she is living now? Well, you probably know, before she was born, I had a, a vision, if you will, and a yeah. premonition that it was her destiny to bring hope to the world. And uh, I told Tish, I said, you know that little baby inside of you, it, what do you think about naming her Destiny Hope? And she said, Destiny Hope, why? And I said, well, I, I think she has a purpose. And mm -hmm. now when I see the kids laugh, I see them dance, I see them sing, and, you know, realize that she's touching people's lives around the world, mm -hmm. I, I think she fulfilled that destiny hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. So explain to everybody how her name is Miley now, because destiny hope was what she was born. That's on the oh, gift yeah. certificate? I mean, the gift certificate. Yeah, it's on the gift certificate. Yeah. Just in case you want to take yeah. me back, get a refund. <laughs> take my little brother yeah. instead. On the birth certificate. Destiny Hope is on the, your birth certificate. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. right. But, you know, to this day, I, I don't think I've ever once called her Destiny Hope. No. From the very first time I ever held her, she just had this little smile on her face. And I, mm -hmm. I start saying, oh, look, she's smiley. And, you know, start talking baby talk, and you start dropping the first letters, and pretty soon it just became Miley. Look, she's Miley. And Miley. I just always called her Miley. I wonder and, if that's Tennessee. Smiley, Miley. Miley. You know, a little bit Miley, of that. Miley. Yeah, you know, you just used to have drop. a whole poem for it, but I don't remember. Something about, uh... Oh, my God. Smiley Dolly Puddin' Polly kissed the boys and made them smiley. Yeah. That was, that was, that was, my, that was my poem. I kissed actually, the boys and made them smiley? Something yeah. like that. <laughs> so, I speaking of boys, anymore. what? How do, how do you go about approving the guys that Miley dates? Uh, which ones? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> Miley's always had a lot of friends, you know, boyfriends, That's girlfriends. That's a lot. I have not had any friends. I'm just kidding. She's always had a lot of friends. So, you know, I've always just told her, you know, I'd, to have one good friend is worth ten boyfriends or girlfriends. To have one friend you can really count on, you know. And I heard that you want to make sure that she doesn't date somebody that, like, you used to be like. Oh. That's a good idea. Definitely. I mean, uh -huh. you know, definitely. <laughs> Okay, well, we asked um, Miley a few questions earlier, and she wrote down her answers. We're going to ask Billy Ray the same questions, and we're going to see how they match up. The first question oh, is, yes. what is Miley's biggest pet peeve about you? Oh, about me? Yeah. She hates for me to recite Thomas Edison. That actually is a lot better than my answer, so you got that right. Okay, what's yours? That he's always late, but I'm always late, too. Yeah? <laughs> so I got it from him. But actually, the Thomas Edison thing is way better, because he said it a thousand times. And then he asked me to repeat it, and I still don't know it because he said it so many times, and now I just tune it out. And like, if he finds something he really wants to say, like on the on the way here, he finds a phrase that he really likes to say, and then he says it at the end of everything, like it should make sense. Like, and what's the new phrase you're saying at the end of everything right now? Tell him. We were talking uh, about the car. Tell him. Go, you go ahead. At the end of everything, he's like, 
it's a different kind of animal. And you're like, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, this is the next question. What was the most trouble Miley ever got into as a child, as a kid? Most trouble. Please remember this. Oh, let me think about it. I got in um, trouble a lot. <laughs> I, I'm drawing a blank on her getting in trouble. The windows? Oh, she knocked out our own window. <laughs> she knocked out your windows? Yeah, wow. she, with a rock. <laughs> he was like, he was like, if you're gonna like, you know. I said, if you're like, gonna throw a rock at a window, please don't do it at our own house. Like, you know? do it at someone else, you know? That's what most people do. Like, go to like the mean person on the street or something and knock out their windows, not your own. But me and my brother is really funny. I don't know why. We thought it'd be so fun to knock out these windows. <laughs> so dumb. And my brother, my older brother, Trace, who uh, is now 20, is like still upset about throwing the rocks in the window. He's like, I love the that rocks bar. In the window. Yeah. So on your CD, there is this song that I love called Butterfly and it's with you and Miley together that song touched me I mean it's in the movie and it's on your CD as well so tell me like did you guys write that together or like how did that come about well that song was written by Glenn Ballard and Glenn's wrote some big big records including Man in the Mirror for Michael Jackson oh, and, okay. uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I was yeah. it. and uh, it just was the right song in the right place in the film a lot of people have been commenting on it and um, yeah it's on the CD back to Tennessee but it's different and all of y'all are getting a copy of Billy Ray Cyrus's new CD. And it's <laughs>